Hey cuties, it's time to roll out the second week of this new semester, with some late newcomers now reborn into our realm. Between Heaven's War deities and shadowing demons, who will you be walking with to the end? Do it again. Scouting out his next hottie, this peeping Tom expertly parkours from point A to B. With extreme mobility in every direction, to a Zhen is quite possibly the strongest team repositioner in the game, giving him free access to various team balls deep into and far away from skirmishes. Safety comes first for pros. With his precise technique, he guards against impact with every landing move he sticks, while applying some stamina recovery techniques in between. He has a penchant to show off his quick and snappy style, inspiriting his followers to deftly strike twice in each assault. However, with a lack of damage amp, you should consider pairing him with self-sufficient damage dealers. With the right team, you can cruise your way to a glorious hole in one victory. Raven Arthur. His battle plan is simple. Pull the opponent in close. Attack and reduce their range. Push them back, out of range, and deny their advance forward. Following standard firefighter protocol, Raven Arthur rushes to the scene to extinguish any fires while keeping a safe distance away. Regretfully, he hasn't been keeping up with his own drills, resulting in saliently sloppy rates in different parts of his firefighting procedure. He plays the role of a mentor and his common card, boosting card EXP rewards for his team, but his students might struggle to learn much due to his increased incompetence. I'd tell him to give it up and throw a sword in the lake, but he just might miss the lake entirely. Amaterasu. You like defense? Amaterasu brings incoming damage to less than 5% of its potency throughout an entire battle, and with her world attribute, is likelier to win most matchups to reduce damage even further. As a bonus, she also comes with limited healing and debuff mitt. She's unlikely to uphold her selfish tanking for very long though. If bothered enough, she'll exit her cave and enrapture the world in her divine light, never again to return to a defended state. The more people exposed to her radiance, the faster she can build up to her next board wiping shine. As creatures of day, however, enemies won't flinch much to her brilliance, taking less than 9000 damage natively. You'll want to amplify the batteries in Little Miss Sunshine here to produce a flash worth reckoning. Supporting your cute kawaii Emoto-chan is a reward in itself. Look at that big willy damage. Blowing off every enemy in sight, Mr. Wildcat boasts enough amp to paralyze his victims from the waist down, dealing an absolutely insane 200,000 damage per square for the first two turns. As his lust dies down, his damage falls off to a still impressive 17,000, all the while bypassing certain mechanics. Besides evasion pierce and buff removal, Willy Wildcat attacks each enemy in his larger magic range as if he were attacking them one on one in blow range. Through this, he circumvents enemy resistances to larger weapon ranges, gets his charge ready quick from the blow bonus, and avoids large range penalties to damage. Whoa, 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 what the heck is that? Ugh, gross. Apparently, not all of these perks apply to the first unit he hits, partially neutering his efficacy against single targets. Guess he gets his rocks off more in group meetups? A booster AR returned when the season began a couple of weeks back and slipped past my radar, so here's my thoughts on it now. So, how does this banner stack up? This banner has an incredible galore of extremes. Extreme damage, extreme defense, extreme mobility, and extreme disappointment. Barring Raven Arthur, everyone here definitely brings the game to new heights, in varying quirky ways. With the quest landscape the game has right now though, it should dawn on you that the big damage for quick clears is the bloody trail you should continue to storm. That's all for now cuties, catch you next time!